music. It is morning. Pepper and George are having breakfast. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. Wow. It's a little piano. Yes. It is like a piano, but with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Pepper. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's play the sinking sizer. OK, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> <laughs> can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. I saw. George, this is you. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. In the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Pepper is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me. <laughs> We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh. It certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. The petting farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy! Yes, 
Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> this is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello. Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands. hands. That's right. <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> What kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? <coughs> That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today, I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh! Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch. 
if that's okay. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes, a common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. Ah, ah. <laughs> it worked. Ah, ah. Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs. Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. Ah, ah. ah here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. Look, Grandpa, pigeons. Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about. <laughs> what is so funny? Madam Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, it is just a squeaky floorboard. Hmm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! Oh, I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr. Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr. Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr. Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? 
Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Johnny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard! Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking! <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look, no squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are! <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes. And hopefully good at filling them in again. Miss Rabbit's relaxation class. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are getting ready to go out. Peppa, are you ready for playgroup? Yes, Daddy. I just need my shoes. <laughs> George, remember you're going to a children's party? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my briefcase? I'm sure I left it in here. You're holding it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're off now. Bye. 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 Ah, lovely and quiet. <laughs> now I can work on my computer. Mummy Pig likes working on her computer. Hello? Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you doing anything today? I'm working on my computer. Oh, that's not good. Computers make you stressed. You need to come to my relaxation class. Relaxation class? What's that? It's where you learn to unwind and find your inner happiness. You'll feel amazing afterwards. Actually, that does sound nice. Great! See you at the sports centre. This is the sports centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, sports centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes, we're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello. Welcome to the relaxation class. 
It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness. Silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Good. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker. <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump. Relax. Mummy Pig, what are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> Panda twins. Pepper is going to play group with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at play group. Have a great day, girls. We will, Daddy. Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda. Hello. And Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Wow. You both look the same. That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes. But it's OK. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm, try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits. <coughs> and the green grass with the green grass. The jigsaw <laughs> is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, Nina, Nina. -O 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 -O. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. 
Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Piggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. <laughs> Everybody loves solving mysteries. <laughs> Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. Well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Peppa and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Thank you! This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children. Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. 
Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the being nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Windmills. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Oh. Here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madame Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madame Gazelle, what is Mr Bull building? I don't know, Pepper. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Pepper, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madame Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper like so. We make a little snip from each corner. Put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper. Then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First, we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next, we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> Spinny windmill! Is everyone's windmill spinning? Mm. Yes! 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 yes. 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 
Yes. Mm. Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow. wow! It's as big as Mr. Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull. And how useful it is. <laughs> Windmills are brilliant. <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> it is morning. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Look, George. A lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa! George! Come on! We're going out! Oh, but we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. Oh, are there puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I love muddy puddles, splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight. The... Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm, this puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy, crackly puddle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach! <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles Looking for muddy puddles A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the beach. <laughs> Look! Puddles! <laughs> oh, this puddle isn't muddy. That's because it's made of sand and water. So what shall we call it? It's not twiggy crackly. It is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles are <laughs> scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes, the playground. <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles. A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the playground. Puddles. <laughs> what kind of puddle is this, Pepper? It sounds splatty, so I will call it a splatty puddle. <laughs> Excellent description, Peppa. <laughs> Playground puddles are splatty. <laughs> Time to go home. What a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. First, the twiggy crackly puddle. In the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then, the scrunchy crunchy puddle. At the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle. In the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. 
<laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> so, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy and splashy sploshy. <laughs> A splish splash splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy! <laughs> it is the bestest puddle in the world. So I will call it a pepper puddle. <laughs> pepper loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Looking for things. Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? <coughs> well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We Find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with the train. Oh. Look, a crayon! <coughs> Daddy can write with this. <coughs> Come on, George! <laughs> Daddy, <coughs> we found something to write with! Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Oh. <coughs> can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes, there must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm, that's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <coughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky. The rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh. Excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm. Have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George. Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh. I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball. Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat. And it tastes yummy. The apple pie. 
Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>